Good day, everybody. This is your host, Ali Rotor from Tekra TV. And today in Blender, I'm just going to show you how you can put a background display on your model. And, you know, you can render an image and send it to a bunch of your friends or show on social media. So you've seen a lot of these pictures from on Pinterest or maybe Google of different people showing their 3D models. And it looks more professional uh, with the background and the lighting. So I'm just going to show you an easy way how you can do it. And if you're if you're a beginner, that's fine. And if you're an expert, well, you can give more tips to us. So here we go. Welcome back, everyone. So to begin with, when you start a new project, just open file new a general one. So once it comes in see this one we're going to press a and remove the cube so you might be modeling with your own model or character or anything else so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make an example model uh, let's say icosphere pressing gz to scroll it up a bit so this is going to be your model now the first step we're going to do is add a background to this model so what i'm going to do is press shift a mesh and make a cube while selecting the cube and we're in the object mode press s to scale it and make it way bigger so way bigger right now selecting the cube now you can put this cube in another collection which i'm going to do and that's my practice that's how i do it so it's basically the studio settings and you can drag the cube to this studio collection to make it more organized so selecting the cube press tab to go into the edit mode then press three to go into the faces section so we're gonna press shift and i'm gonna i'm just gonna click the sides leaving the shift pressing the middle mouse button to rotate pressing shift again and selecting these three faces so we're just going to leave the back one and the bottom one pressing delete button to delete the faces voila coming out of the edit mode so we have got um, uh, an l-shaped panel so you can make it through you can also make it through plane but that's a tutorial for another video i'm just going to press select the background <clears throat> press g z to bring it up now this is totally up to you so this is totally up to you how you guys do it and i'm just going to leave it a bit hovering on the hovering upside okay so i'm just going to leave it on the so my object is not touching my uh, bottom uh, studio background right so if you wanna you have a character that's standing it's up to you totally up to you so now with the background what we're gonna do is and i'm just going to tell, let you guys know that i am in the viewport shading section um my apologies i didn't tell you this setting so i'm in the poly section what i'm gonna do is select the background cube press tab and then press either one through vertex so you can select these two vertices or you can go to the uh, edge select section and select this edge right so what we're going to do is two options either you can have the background as l-shaped so if your character is in the middle you can see the corner but if you want to make it a bit more smoother and a bit curvier what we're going to do is select the face sorry this one uh, select the edge press ctrl b for bevel and then move my mouse up to have this curve so once you have um, a moderate curve click left click and then while it's selected press ctrl b again it's gonna do bevel again once that's done left click you can leave it here but i like to do it the third time it more that's about it pressing tab to come out and that's 
our curve. Now you can see I've gone a bit too far for this one, so I'm just going to press Control Z while selected Control B. Make it more curvy, and that's about it. See? Now, while selected, press uh, right click on the object and click Shade Smooth. So it will make the curve much, much smoother. So that's one way you can actually uh, make this object and the background much smoother. What you can do is, there's no camera here at the moment, but I'm going to do is press Shift A and add, a, while selecting the studio, Shift A or the object, Shift A, I'm going to add a camera in this and the camera needs to have its setting g z g and the y axis a little on the side and g x to the x axis now my object is on the three numpad three but you'll normally have it on numpad one that's just because i actually started it now uh, to go into the camera mode and see how my object is going to look i just press the numpad zero then press G and move your mouse around to select how you're going to display your object. Looks beautiful, right? Okay, now I'm going to press 0, numpad 0 again to come out. I'm just going to give my, my model a bit of uh, material so that <clears throat> it doesn't look bad. So we're just going to go into the render mode. Selecting the background. Go to the material side. Now we're going to give it a bit of a material. I'm going to add a new material to it. And with surface, what you can do is, what I do is I normally select background. Right? And then color. Uh, let's go with a little lighter blue. Uh, maybe. You think yellow. Oh yeah, this sounds. That's going to be my background. Right? Now, if I press zero, you'll see this object has a bit of a background. But if we go to the render settings, we don't have any lights, right? So it's dark there. So there's a free add-on that's called three point light. I'm going to do a tutorial for that one as well. I've already installed it. It's free. You can go to edit preferences, then go to add-ons and add that to it. What it does is while selecting my object like my model i'm going to press shift a go to lights and then three point lights so that's the add-on like three three point lights or point lights and you'll have that one i'll do a tutorial for that one after this one so i i'll click it what it does is you can see it's all pointing towards our our model it sets up a by default lighting system so you don't have to do much what i'm going to do is I'm just going to press zero. Now coming here, I'm going to select the first light and I'm going to increase the power. Now you'll start seeing the shade is coming from this side. The other one, I'm going to do again 500. And with the front one, I'm going to do maybe a thousand. So that's something I'm going to press zero again. So that's something that we can do and if you if you don't like the lighting what you can do is select the light press gz bring it a bit down see how it looks wonderful so we've done a small tutorial for our lighting then you have the background and you have your model now with the background you can actually leave it to this one or you can try it out different options for example if you go to if we select the background uh, plane or uh, the object and go to our material surface and in background i tried a bit glossy that's that's a bit glossy stuff so if you look at it it gives you a glossy look and the roughness you can change you can play with the settings to see how much reference reference sorry uh, roughness it looks pressing zero it gives you a totally different view then with the glossy and you can keep either the background and the strength depending on how much you want but it's by default one 
Now coming to the background, either you can leave it here or what you can do is select the object, go to modifier, add subdivision surface modifier and add two or even three to make it very, very smooth. You see? So it doesn't look like uh, you're on a curve and looks actually pretty good. Now for you, what you can do is select the camera, press G. What I can do. Changing the rotation. That's how your studio is set. And now coming to our X model, I'm just going to this. So if you go to render and render image, it's going to pop up another window and render your image, right? If you go to rendering, that's how your object is going to. I hope this has helped you in your modeling and setting it up. So with the color combination, I've been never good at color combination. So you can have your background, uh, like different background. Instead of yellow, we can go. This and play around with it. So you have a lighting setup, you have a background, and then you can render image and your object is going to look like a million dollars much more professional much better and much more uh, better looking than you can actually start sharing on your social media share on with friends go into your profile play around with the settings and one tip that i would give you is play around with the settings don't be afraid of you know making a mistake play around with the background setting if you want to add more lights just add more lights to it that's all for today so i'll be doing this uh, how to add this add-on for another tutorial and i'll be adding different um, add-ons and uh, more tutorial will be coming up with blender what we normally do is design characters in blender and then port it to unity for our games so if you have any questions, any suggestions, uh, let me know and uh, I'll probably answer you within a day or two or maybe like that day. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more videos. If you want to see a tutorial, just suggest in the comments and we'll come up with it. This is your host Ali Rato from TechRat. Nice day. See you. Bye bye.